Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. This week is not so much a recap as it is a DIY. And if you watched last week's video, um, I mentioned that the I had lined the drawers with suede and I would be doing a um, how-to video on that. So that is what this is. In this video you'll see how I wrapped the bottoms of the drawers before I assembled them and put them into the desk and the dresser. But uh, this can still be done on drawers that are already assembled, any kind of furniture you have. Um, I would just kind of tape off the sides. I'd probably wrap the rest in like um, any kind of plastic, like a trash bag that you cut into pieces to protect all the sides. And then you just proceed doing the rest of the steps. Um, the only thing is that you wouldn't actually wrap the bottom. You would just end up, when the glue is dry, cutting um, with the a razor between the bottom and the sides so that it's uh, nice and flat. And the thing I really like about the lined drawers is that um, the contents don't shift like they do in um, drawers that have like a wood bottom or a plastic bottom. So the, the suede just kind of keeps it in place. A few years back I had lined some drawers with suede but um, and this is faux suede it's not it's not the real expensive stuff. But um, at the time I found contact paper that was uh, it was suede contact paper drawer liners. So that was um, really nice. You just cut it to size, peel the back, and it pasted right down. Well this time I went to look for them and I cannot find the suede contact paper anymore. It's um, just a standard paper contact paper and I search online and they were quite expensive now per roll and I only found I think one place that would sell them. So I decided to see if I could do it myself and um, I just went to the fabric store and bought some um, uh, some ultra suede and picked up some glue and um, it turned out really well. I, I like the way it turned out and what was even nicer was that I could customize the color and it cost a fraction of the price as what the contact paper would have cost me. So I'm very happy with the way it turned out and I hope you enjoy this how-to video and if you try it out let me know and like I said I used um, I used glue but if I were to do it again I would probably try um, spray mount. I think it, it would probably be much easier um, and just go outside, spray the bottom, and then you come inside and you just lay it down on your fabric. And um, yeah, because the, the glue is a little sticky and messy, and then if you press it too much, um, it will bleed through the fabric if you have thin fabric like I did. So if you try it out, let me know. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and like and share and all that good stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye! So for this project I have uh, my fabric that I want to line the bottom of the drawer with and it's ironed and it will be this suede and it's face down currently. Um, I have just a disposable plate of, I'm using Mod Podge um, for fabric um, just because I had it. If I, if I didn't have anything I will probably um, buy spray mount. It would be much quicker and um, less messy. And I have the bottoms of my drawers right here. So the only thing I do is, oh, and I have a brush. So I get some of the glue on my brush. And this is really, really thick glue. So. So at this point, all I do is just make sure this is all straightened out. Drop it right there on. I just lightly kind of press on it. Because this fabric is so thin, I can't, I'm not going to move it. I'm just going to sit it there, let it dry like this, then I'll mess with the ends and cut off the excess. Um, and normally if I had a thicker fabric I would probably I would flip it over 
and probably smooth out the entire surface but this is so thin that I'm afraid if I were to do that it would actually bleed through the fabric so the glue would bleed through and that would not look pretty so then I just let this sit and come back to it when it's dry now that I've let this sit to dry I'm going to just cut off some excess around the perimeter so there's not a ton of fabric and then the next step is I just take some tape I have this is painters tape this is actually the painters tape I didn't like uh, so I'm just looking to get rid of it so You can take long strips, short strips. This one I'm just going to do some long strips. But <clears throat> all you're going to do is fold this over. Actually, short strips is probably going to be much easier. Sometimes I just attach it there and then just kind of pull it tight. And you just want the, the edge to be tight with fabric for when you put together your, your drawer. And then I would do the other side, but I will show you that I did the other drawer and I assembled it and you can see that's what it looks like with the, the suede on the inside. And the back looks like this, which is all the taping that we did. Now I have a chest of drawers I did this to and the back still look like this because nobody's gonna see them. It doesn't really matter. But I will show you if you can't live with knowing that this is underneath your door then you just take a straight edge It looks like this. And you have a beautiful drawer. And the nice thing about this is that things don't slip in it. So it's perfect for, I was going to say little girls' rooms, but really for any drawer. It's nice what you put things are going to stay. So I hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you later. Bye.